Hi hey everybody, my name is Nick Mitchell and welcome to your quick and easy guide to migrating from AR Foundation to Unreal. So to start off, let's check our project out. What we need to do is add AR Foundation. That's in the package manager, AR Foundation with the AR Core and AR Kit. You add in your plugins with Unreal. It's not in the plugin manager. Going to go to the Unreal developer website. Go on to download and at the very bottom there, choose your SDK, agree and download. Then you got your Unity package, which you just pop right into Unity and you're good to go. All right, so the next step you need to do in your project is always going to be setting up your player. So for AR Foundation, you're going to have your Android and iOS, depending what you're developing for. And Real is based off of Android, so you're just going to have your Android settings. And those are really simple. Hop on to developer.enreal.ai, go to develop, your quick start for Android, and you're going to have your settings right in here. Just follow these and your app's going to be ready to run. Now we need to actually build a scene. So in uh, XR Foundation, you're used to setting it up. XR, get your XR Session and your XR Session Origin. And Real is pretty similar. We're going to pop open the Asset folder, go down to our Prefabs, and we have almost the same thing. In Real Camera Rig and in Real Input. By the way, we don't need our main camera because on AR Foundation you got your AR camera that's attached to your AR Session Origin and in Real you got the Unreal Camera Rig which contains your camera. As you can see here, center camera is what you're going to see in game and left and right for your left and right eye. A couple other things with your AR Session, you're going to have your Input Manager. That's going to be included in the Unreal Input Prefab. So you're going to have everything you need, it's going to be right in there. Plane detection is an important part of many AR apps. So I'm going to call this the plane controller. In AR Foundation, we go to the AR Plane Manager. In Unreal SDK, we go to the plane detector. Very similar, you select your plane prefab right here. And for the Unreal Plane Detector, you select your plane here. Currently, it doesn't have detection mode in the NR SDK, but that's coming soon. An important part of a lot of AR apps is image tracking. In AR Foundation, you add the script AR Tracked Image Manager, which has your library here and then your prefab. In the Unreal SDK, you can use the tracking image example controller and again here it will be where you put your prefab. So tracking image visualizer prefab, again whatever is going to pop up when I scan my image. For the image library, for AR Foundation go create XR reference image library and then here you add your images one by one add image and you have some settings, different things you can do there. With Unreal, it's a little bit different. You choose your images first, select them, then right click, create, NR SDK tracking image database and you're going to see here, pop, all your images are in here. And it automatically detects the quality of your image, uh, which you can tell just based upon tracking points and different things and you'll be able to use it directly in your scene. Uh, generally, your ray casting is directly from your head when you're in AR Foundation. In the Unreal SDK, because you have a controller in your hand, you don't need to have a ray cast kind of laser beam coming out of your eyes. What you have instead is an actual controller, and so you can use that controller. Here we can see this raycast is coming out from the controller and you can actually select things differently. So you can see maybe I'm looking over here, kind of if it's a standard raycast it's going to be coming out of the center of the screen. But because it's coming from my hand, I'm looking straight in the scene and I can look in different directions. 
as you can see then you have touch input it's going to be pretty much the same but it's going to be on your touchpad and actually that leads me into something else that I do want to mention that's really great about the Unreal SDK that AR Foundation doesn't have is an emulator so you're able to actually fully test your apps without having to build it to the headset using the emulator you can fully test things out by holding shift I can control the ray cast of the controller let go of shift use W A S D plus space for rotate and I can actually fully test my builds right in the emulator right in the unity engine emulator which is a super big time saver last thing I want to mention is your UI so a standard AR foundation UI is just attached to the camera stuck right on the camera and that works because you're holding your phone in your hand kinda like a controller even though it also has a camera to the real world what's great about in real light is that it's a full spatial system so you can see right here in this scenario I have some kind of object over here and I have two different UI elements one is entering text and another is to activate and deactivate the object so that is super cool to have that in my virtual space so you can see if my camera is not set to that that's not glued onto my camera maybe over here I have another object and I can activate it and set its text too maybe I'm surrounded by things in a full 360 space and I have my UI split up around me in a full 360 view and just a rough example of how that is you can see that your canvas and your your text and everything that you have you want to set it to world space so that means that it's in the world it's not glued to your head if you have some challenges or some certain methods that I didn't cover in this tutorial please let us know we'll be making more tutorials and we'll be heavily involved in the community to guarantee that you porting your app to the in real light is as easy and smooth as can be. Thank you for watching. This has been your quick and easy guide to migrating from AR Foundation to Unreal.